In this video series we will demonstrate troubleshooting techniques for different cluster XL scenarios. The first scenario is a cluster XL, high availability, in which one of the members is in down state. In this scenario there is no redundancy, no synchronization between the members, and if the active member will have a problem, it could not go down, as the other member is already down. In this demo we have an R77.30 cluster XL in high availability mode, managed by an R77.30 security management server. The concept of the troubleshooting methodology is to follow two vectors, elimination and focusing, which converge to finding the solution. Our first step is to search for relevant logs in the SmartView tracker. Connect to the Smart Center server. Open Smart View Tracker. Filter the type column and mark control. Filter the origin column and select the cluster members. Searching for relevant logs, we can see the following log. The cluster state change of member 2 from active to down was cancelled, because all other members are down. The log indicates both members reporting a problem, but it does not direct us to its cause. There is another log, which is a possible hint. It indicates that interface ETH2 on member 1 is down. We will check it on the cluster members soon. Other logs do not reveal any relevant information. Next step is to connect using SSH to the cluster gateways and collect information. The basic cluster command to check the member's status is CPHA prob stat. The local in brackets is the cluster member we are currently connected to. Here we see that member GW1 is down. and member GW2 is an active attention state, which means there is a problem on another cluster member. A cluster member will be down if one of its P-Notes isn't problem. P-Notes is a mechanism of monitoring critical devices on the cluster members, which enables the member to notify other cluster members that it can no longer function as a member. There are a number of built-in critical devices, and additional P-Notes can be added by administrator. In case a device fails to report to the cluster mechanism on due time, the mechanism decide that there is a problem with this device. When a cluster XL member changes its state to down, it means that one or more of its p-notes isn't problem. The command cpha prob -l list shows the full list of devices or p-notes. On version R77.30 and above, using the command without the dash L, show only devices that are in problem state. The P node in problem on GW1 is interface active check. This correlate to the log that we have seen in the smart view tracker. We want to check the status of interface ETH2 that was reported in the log. The command if config can be misleading and is not suitable to check interface status. It is showing all interfaces seem as up. Running the ETH tool command for interface ETH2 is reliable and is showing that the interface speed and duplex are synchronized with the other end and that link is detected. Let's have a look at the second member, GW2. We see that also on this member, the interface active check is in problem. The no blocking mean that it continue to be active in spite of the problem. The next command will show the status of the interfaces as the cluster mechanism sees it. CPHA prob dash A I F. This command output is showing that there is an issue with ETH3 because CPHA see it as down. The disconnected interface ETH0 is configured in the cluster topology as a non-monitored private interface, therefore it's not a problem. 
using the same method for checking the interface status on member GW1, it is down as well. Checking ETH tool, ETH3. We see there is no link. As this happen on both members, the immediate suspect is our switch. We will now verify the cluster member's network interface physical connection to the switch. After validating the member's physical network connection, running ETH tool shows that the link is now up, and speed and duplex are synchronized. Checking the member status using CPHA, prob, stat. Now the cluster functions normally. Thank you for watching.